So we showed up at Texas Motor Speedway Saturday around 7 p.m. because we're on the coattails of another show there. And so we can't start set up until then. So, you know, our goal is to reach the, that 5,000 vehicles. That's our goal. Um, this year we had, if memory serves, it's 3,029 vehicles. So we did surpass last year's numbers. And we had 6,534 spectators. And again, to me, that's a huge success um, to be able to get so many automotive enthusiasts together and just celebrate the culture, you know, the cars, the people. So the setup for SLAM, as you can imagine, is, is a bit overwhelming. It takes a lot of time, there's a lot of different stations for all the entertainment. So we had uh, some, some staff members and even some close friends come out and help us. Extremely grateful for the people that I've surrounded myself with. Um, they really make it possible to do what we do. And uh, thank you very much for everybody who came out and helped, um, the entire team, and it was... Uh, it was a lot of work, but we got it done. So. So bring out a U-Haul truck, it's loaded to the max. We've got tables, canopies, uh, we had 10 power wheels this year crammed in there. Um, all of our merchandise, um, everything you can think of from wristbands to vehicle stickers. So, um, you know, setup was, takes a lot of time. Um, we had a stage set up this year. We had um, barricades for the uh, power wheel races motorcycle stunt show, uh, each station, everything from the burnout pit to swinging for veterans, they all require a canopy, a table, everywhere you see some form of entertainment. So it does take us a long time to set up and uh, greatly appreciate everybody who came out and helped, staff members, friends, uh, couldn't have done it without them, uh, but we got it done. This, this year we were smart, stayed at a hotel the night before so we didn't have that long drive, but uh, got up the next morning, had more setup to do because uh, we just couldn't get it all done the night before. But we knocked it out and uh, that was it, we got it done.
yeah, so like TSP Slam 2018, uh, we had about 2,339 vehicles. In 2019, for sure, we most definitely jumped double that. I mean, it, it was just chaotic. So many people came out, so many, you know, the vehicle entry line, the entry registration area was just booming all day, pretty much the whole day. Um, you know, the amount of people cruising in and out all day, you know, and fun fact about Slam, we turned, we shut off the entry gates noon, to, so you can only come in, you couldn't leave. Um, so to see everybody just cruising in all day, it was, it was pretty crazy, you know, it was uh, really mind blowing. And, you know, for us, to, even as organizers to get back into our own event, we had to go through the North gate. So we had to go all the way around in through the North gate, do whatever we had to do and come back out through the North gate. Yeah, so it was pretty crazy, it was, it, but it was a good experience. It was a great experience. I think for 2020, we have a lot of things in mind, what we'll do differently organization wise. Um, I want to say we were prepared, but then we weren't prepared. So that's, that's one big thing for us to say, but it was a great time. It was uh, a lot of people in the burnout box, one eighth mile on the mobile dyno. I think even after the ending ceremonies, there were still people on the mobile dyno, the kitty areas. That was fun. Um, Swing River Veterans was a huge success. I'd like to say too, that has doubled and what versus last year, all the money for Swing River Veterans goes towards veterans, um, you know, housing funds, whatever, you know, things like that. Um, so yeah, I kept the, everything was pretty busy. And we were prepared, but we weren't prepared. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, it was it was crazy. Like to think that I was up at three o'clock with only two hours of sleep, and that was pretty much the whole team. We all woke up at three o'clock. We went to bed. Probably we didn't leave Texas Motor Speedway till like eleven. So, I mean, I was pretty burned out by like noon. I was I was getting pretty tired and running around, taking care of the registration area, taking care of our infield events, like all of our little, like the little kid area, um, helping out where it was needed with our coordinators, so like on the infield, you know, all our vendors needed to be lined up in a certain way. So that was one thing. Um, I think my experience all together, I was, at the end, I was very tired. I was, I think I was burned out, but it was a great time. I mean, seeing everybody, seeing people from out of the city, seeing your normal friends, all the people that you see, you know.
I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, the pressure be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone in progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone in affection, I summon and dub it. Cause bitch, I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems. I solve them. I run through the money, the pressure be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone in progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone in affection, I summon and dub it. Why you be all in my line about nothing? Why won't you go get you a dollar or something? Don't hang with a nigga who lying for nothing. I see that we different, you ride and I dub them. I don't do discussions on bragging about hundreds. Don't go to your places, I know that they sunken. Don't call me your brother, I barely could trust it. I talk to a shorty, she bagging the bugging. And I'ma need all of my dollars on corpus, so hand me the money, I divvy the pie. I'ma give all of my people a portion to build them a fortune, I'm flipping the ride. I can't be mixy when iffy the vibe. And 40 on 50, it's really the time Why are you all on my phone like you want me? Like you wasn't pushing the kids to the side I don't know if you bitches are thinking I'm blind Cross on my crosses and dot on my eyes Done with your efforts, I'm dealing with pressures I know it's a lesson, that's word of the wise Dubbing the mixes, I'm mixing I know I've been missing, I needed some personal time Fuck all the pictures, dimensions I don't with your digits, I mean it, I'm staying inside Cause bitch, bitch I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them, I run through the money, the pressure be calling Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling The birdie is back Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone in progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone in affection, I summon and dub it. Cause bitch, I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems. I solve them, I run through the money, the press will be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone in progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone in affection, I summon and dub it.
started Texas Show Promoters, TSV Slam was not something I had ever even thought of. Um, even thinking about hosting our own events or cruises or slam was never thought in my mind. I just created Texas Show Promoters to merely connect enthusiasts with events that they may not have known about otherwise. Um, after running Texas Show Promoters for two or three years, I had an idea, why not create an event where we can get all these different groups together. And so for me, it was about breaking barriers. And the reason why we call it a me is because there's no winners or losers, there's no trophies or awards. And <clears throat> we added a bunch of entertainment so people can come out and have a great time. Whether you wanna pop up a canopy and just hang out with your friends, you could do that. If you wanna go drag racing, you can do that. If you have you know, a need to see how much horsepower your vehicle has, you've got the mobile dyno, uh, you like to roast tires and do burnouts, <laughs> you got the burnout pit. So, you know, we try to do something uh, or offer something uh, for everybody. Um, and with each passing year, we're gonna add entertainment. We may take some things away if they weren't a hit. Um, always changing and evolving. And it's, as each year goes by, we do wanna break more barriers. Um, you know, we don't see a lot of rat rods. We don't see a lot of Jeeps yet. Um, this year we were, we were blessed to see a bunch of amazing low riders. We saw maybe one or two last year. We probably had 20, 25 this year. So things like that, um, it's, it's gratifying to see these different genres come together. Um, I'd like to see some slabs, some donks. I mean, there's no right, no reason why we can't all come together and have an event and just celebrate being an enthusiast. That was the whole purpose of, of SLAM. So <clears throat> that's, uh, that's really it.
Well, I can't thank everybody enough. All the staff, everybody that was involved in the event, everybody that participated. Um, we're super, super excited for what the future holds and the events we've added to SLAM 2020. It's gonna be huge. So, um, again, thank you very much and uh, we'll see you next year.